to my channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you some pieces that were passed down to me from my mom. Oh, some she gave to me, others I found under her bed and just in her wardrobe that I know she couldn't fit into. So I have incorporated them into my wardrobe and I absolutely love them. So I'm going to show you how I style them. I don't know if you have ever been given stuff by anybody, whether or not you were given stuff by friends or relatives and you feel embarrassed about wearing them. Guys, that is so passe. Today, sustainability is very sexy and people giving you stuff, swapping, thrifting, upcycling, wearing your sister's hand-me-downs as some people would love to look at it. Don't look at it that way. See it as you being sustainable. You must have seen my last video. I hope you did. If you didn't, please check it out. It's awesome and know that sustainability is very sexy. So today we are continuing that sustainable journey and if we can limit our consumption, that is awesome. So I hope you're inspired and that you would hit the subscribe button below. It's in the right hand corner, right there. This piece is this gorgeous white skirt. As you guys know, white is a great summer trend. And while I don't do well with taking care of my whites, oh, it's such a high maintenance color. I love this piece from my mom. So I'm styling it in a summer look for you. And here it is with this gorgeous slip dress, another white piece from my mom. This piece is surprisingly made of blended fibers. I actually thought it was just 100% cotton, but it's a mix of caudal polyester, which is a trademark for this particular type of polyester. So yeah, I really love this slip dress and to think that my mom wore this and I could remember as a child seeing her getting ready for church and wearing it underneath her dresses oh my god I feel so special to be given this piece and yes this piece she gave to me and I love it it's really really gorgeous such a great summer look that I hope to wear when we are out of this quarantine <laughs> and for a spring look I thought I'll just pair it with this top oh my god balloon sleeve yeah that's a no-brainer for me I love everything about this top it's a hundred percent cotton it's balloon it's gorgeous it's absolutely fantastic and this is a piece that Karen Britchick made me buy. I bought it in all three colors, the black, the white, and the striped versions. Oh my God, one of my best buys ever. And I haven't regretted it since because I've been wearing it ever since I got it. I wore it for work and I would definitely show you guys a video in which I paired the three pieces that Karen Britchick made me buy. But, oh my gosh, yes guys, this is definitely a spring look for me and for me to definitely incorporate the whites as a trend from my wardrobe into my closet. Oh, and for a possible fall look this is how I paired it I added this jacket this is a jacket it's about three years old and it's a hundred percent polyester you guys know me and my relationship with polyester I definitely think it's a fabric that should be avoided and look for better alternatives 
for polyester. There is a particular company called DuPont that created a biodegradable polyester. It's a material that is designed to replace synthetic fibers such as acrylic as well as spandex. I think this is a definite great step in the right direction and it's a material that could blend well with cotton and other natural fibers making them more durable so it's definitely something that this company should be proud of and hopefully many other companies would incorporate into their brand this second piece that I am so excited to share with you guys is a piece that I found under my mom's bed mattress and I love it. I remember this piece from ages ago when my mom used to wear this piece. She was pretty slim so I feel so excited to be given, well, to find this piece under her bed and it's in such great shape oh my god do you know why it's in such great shape because it's made from crimpling crimpling is one of those ancient polyester fabric it's thick it's a textured fabric and it's oh my god it's durable this is a fabric that would take more than 450 years to decompose if placed in a landfill so i am happy to be given this a second chance and i really love the style of it disappointed with the fabric but the style is definitely up my alley it's a great a-line skirt love the big pleated detail at the front and had we not been in quarantine this is how I would be pairing it but I am definitely looking forward to post quarantine when I could wear this again actually I have already worn this in the fall and I got a compliment from a colleague of mine she really admired it <laughs> so I do love it and for the fall hopefully we don't skip fall this year this is how i'll be pairing it this jacket is a piece that i got about two years ago two plus it's a hundred percent cotton love it such a gorgeous piece at the same time i want you to keep in mind these facts about polyester fibers it is one of the most destructive fabrics ever created so definitely pay attention to these if you intend to buy any polyester items in the future so number three is another gorgeous white broadery angle gorgeous uh, balloon kind of skirt and I love this piece those perforated designs oh my god absolutely stunning and this is a piece that is very voluminous and I love that about it because I love a lot of fabric and it's made from a hundred percent cotton a natural fiber that I absolutely love and here is what you should know about organic and conventional cotton. This is all you need to know if you're considering buying or investing in cotton pieces in the future. So for the spring summer look, this is how I had intended on pairing this and the top is a piece that oh, it's me written all over it from the big bow details I love anything with strings and to the polka dot one of my favorite prints ever and 
the balloon sleeves, guys. Oh, this is just me in a blouse. And of course, yes, those details on the skirt that I just cannot get over. I just love this skirt. And unbelievably, guys, this is a size small. This is when size small was way different back then than it is now because there's no way today's styling could ever consider this skirt to be a size small. So this piece just amazes me and I love the history behind it. I love the fact that my mom wore this and that I could continue to wear it for many years to come. Really love this piece. For the fall, all I'm simply going to do is to add a jacket and this could even be worn in late summer as well because the jacket is pretty lightweight. It's another polyester piece and of course 100% polyester but you guys know what to do already. At the same time I want you to keep in mind that it's so important not to buy polyester items going forward for several reasons including this as well as the information previously shown above but yeah guys this is how I'll be pairing it and I do love the contrast of the black against the white and again I'm wearing the slip dress underneath it because it is a transparent piece so you could see through it as with most white items number four is a gorgeous floral print and I don't think any information is needed here when it comes to florals being incorporated into my wardrobe this piece my mom didn't like it much because it is a sleeveless piece and it shows her collarbone and she hates that part of her body I believe that the collarbone is one of the sexiest part of a woman's body that's me personally and whenever you get the chance to show it off I just think you should just show it off the collarbone the decolletage the shoulder bone definitely but right now we are pairing it for the spring late spring late summer and I've always incorporated this Zara belt. It's 100% leather and what you should keep in mind is that make sure leather that you buy is ethically sourced. And for the fall look, I don't believe this jacket needs any introduction because it's a piece that was thrifted ages ago and a piece that would remain forever in my wardrobe yeah it's not going anywhere so this is how I'll definitely be styling it because I think it definitely captures the color palette that is on the dress and this waistcoat is no stranger to you guys it's another way that I would pair this in the fall as well the material information is available in other videos and for the summer guys this is how I would wear it showing off my collarbone because I love it yeah I love the bow details of this dress and here you could see it more clearly without the added layering pieces so I love it and I would wear it loose as it is shown here and of course I would definitely belt it because it's my thing belt is my number one go-to favorite accessories to elevate an outfit to cinch my waist just to give it a more chic sophisticated polish look and the bag is a Fendi dupe. I love this bag. I was lucky to find it at the thrift store about two years ago now. 
here and I really love that it just pairs with absolutely anything in my heart. Thanks so much guys and I'll see you in the next sustainable video.